in this tutorial we'll see how to use napalm configure task in Nornia. first i'll import napalm configure and i'll go to the documentation of this and here first we need to give the task name then either we can give a file name or configuration lines you can see the description here in the previous tutorial we have seen how to send napalm cli there we were passing commands so i'll take a copy of that and paste it here and here i'll change to napalm configure and task name i'll change to napalm configure need to remove the parenthesis here instead of commands i need to give configuration and we can see that in the document then we need to give the commands in a string format so i'll just add an interface here interface loopback 1005 and now i'll verify the interface now we don't have any loopback 1005 interface here so let us try running this here i can rename this to conf result conf and in the back end it is configuring the device using napalm configure okay here it is saying this has changed the configuration of device now all these three devices this has added loopback 1005 and we can verify that so now we have loopback 1005 interface in all the three devices and if you want to remove it you can give no here and you need to have scp server and archive enabled in the device for using napalm configure and now this has removed the configuration and even in the show ip interface brief we don't have loopback 1005 Now we'll see how to send it from a configuration file and I have two files here one is addroutes.txt this will add all these static routes into the device and here we'll verify IP route I have only one default route I don't have any static routes in the device and we will change this code i'll give file name and file name is rroutes.txt and here i'll change the command to show run pipe include IP route and let us try running this
and this has added all these lines of configuration into all the three devices and this is the show run pipe include IP route output from all the three devices and we can verify that from here as well and now if you want to remove the routes you can select remove routes dot txt and run the script Now this has removed all the static routes from the devices and in RTL3 we can see one default route and RTL1 and 2 doesn't have any routes and later we'll see how to combine all this and create a single function and execute all this using a function